And what you'll notice first is a lot of this dirt. This is 43 year old Christopher Kilpatrick. This is the man that Lauderdale authorities are looking for, and it's not like anything you've ever thrown before. Right now, taking one step. Look at that. Already past that foot mark. Oh, there we go, you guys. Good morning. The 22 push up challenge in order to save his people. And it turns out not all giants in life are human. Look at this. You can rent these little scooters. They say that the footage found on those cameras show the deputies walking into the home and then the suspected shooter approaching them. When you get into your car, you're probably going to notice this clear windshields. She says by simply snapping a picture with the dog, you can rewrite their story. We're on the scene of a single car wreck. You can see there's still glass lying right here. Glass from the door of this attempted burglary. All you need is a one gallon bucket. This all happened here at the intersection of Clinton Avenue in Lincoln Street. These sheriff's deputies are responding to a much better call than the one they answered last Wednesday night. They're at Huntsville Hospital to escort their brother home. We're uh, elated about his rapid recovery. Someone shot Lauderdale County Sheriff's Deputy Randall McCrary in Florence last Wednesday evening. Authorities say he was at the home to serve papers to Timothy Murphy. You see gun, then you see muzzle flash and you're on the wrong side of it. Those court orders instructed Murphy to go to a mental health facility. Sheriff Rick Singleton says dealing with mental health and a lack of facilities is a statewide issue. Dealing with the mentally ill in our community is becoming more and more of a challenge for law enforcement. It's been nearly a week since McCrary nearly died in a shootout, but he's not phased. I'm ready to go serve the people of Lauderdale County. McCrary thanks all those who stood by his side following the incident, but says the man upstairs receives the credit. I just just the power of God to get me where I'm at. These flashing lights are not a sign of an emergency, rather a deputy's escort returning a miracle back to their county. In Huntsville, Courtney Crown, WHT News 19. The Clemson Tigers are used to playing talented teams away from their home turf, but on Saturday morning, they took some time out of their busy schedules to score some extra points with some fans who could really use a smile. <laughs> Blakely Lowrance and Clemson quarterback Kelly Bryant are celebrating. It's been exciting. Blakely's all in for Clemson. Yeah. So this rocks. It was really exciting to see the coach for the first time. And then the, all the football players are so big. And they're huge. Blakely met the Tigers on the Saturday before the Sugar Bowl when they huddled up to provide hope. Oh, yeah. To give something good back to the local children's hospital in New Orleans where young patients like Blakely stay for now. Just to be from here and, and uh, go into the hospital and see those kids and just putting a smile on their face, it means so much to them. In the midst of a week full of practice before the big game, Clemson head coach Dabo Sweeney says this gathering is a good practice for the game of life. You know, I think it's important to always have great perspective. A chance to remember their reality is another person's dream. And there's somebody every day literally praying for what we take for granted, whether it's to be able to get up out of a chair, take another breath, whatever it may be, walk down a hall, much less have the ability to go play football. On one day, for mere minutes, a group of children taught these college football all-stars life lessons on their home field. The best day ever. It's just all guys work. The Clemson Tigers promise Blakely a signed helmet and t-shirt as soon as they return home to South Carolina. In New Orleans, Courtney Crown, WHT News 19. You won't find another dog in all of Madison County who's as loved as Princess Pooney. She gets the run of the house. She, she's the boss. But it wasn't always this way because she didn't always belong to Shane and Camille. Obviously, she was aware that conditions weren't ideal. And I imagine there was a lot of frustration. I'm not trying to justify it. Shane Breeden's talking about former Lawrence County Animal Services Director Bobby Taylor. Bobby's charged with 16 counts of animal cruelty and one count of animal abuse for allegedly harming more than 250 animals in her care. This is video of one of those dogs. The person filming this says Taylor is the woman hitting the animal. This video shot by a shelter volunteer played a large role in ending a dire situation for so many cats and dogs. He saved them. This video ignited an investigation in Lawrence County shelter. The footage also sparked this story on the day Taylor heads to trial. Shane and Camille noticed something in our report that struck a nerve. When they first showed it and it shows her head down, 
got the crease right there and it was just like holy smoke that is her she has the same broken tail the same, same scars stuff, yeah. and her ear yes. these days Poonie doesn't worry about someone hitting her and she's no longer starving for food nor attention. We just want everybody to know she's doing good. She started off rough, but she's got a good home now. Poonie did need affection when she came to her new home, but her family says it wasn't any match for the love they received no, in return. It, it, it. In Madison County, Courtney Crowns, WHNT <laughs> News 19.